Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Kim Garza and today I'm going to show you my beauty retouch technique. So let's just start. This is my try number, I don't know, fourth. <laughs> so I have been trying to record this video like a lot of times but the computer gets stuck and I cannot do the entire um, retouch like record the entire re retouch so I just can record a pieces of it and do tiny videos and then put it together and upload it so I already finished the Spanish version so I'm going to do the English version so this will be like a short version um, that will last like it's a long video I know guys it's a long video but it's a short version so I will do all the step for the beauty retouch but I will stop on the steps that I need to repeat the step like a lot and you will see so I will summarize my technique so let's start uh, okay so first of all I want to tell you that the first thing that I did it was cut it I cut it that like five per um, I mean four per five or eight per ten that is the measure that you can see entirely in Instagram I most of the time so it depends of the client but in this time it's going to be in Instagram so I already put it um, a crop with, according with the Instagram crop because I want to have the control of what to appear is in Instagram then Instagram cuts your picture and then it's a disaster so I already cut it so that's the first thing that I that I did um, I want to show you what I use so I use my Sony uh, camera a 58 and my lens was 55 to 200 millimeters with a Sam's lens for to uh, 5.6 um, focal length was 85 my exposure was um, uh, 1 divided by 125 at uh, 13 the aperture the aperture in the beauty shots I recommend to be higher than 8 never um, lower than 8 that's my recommendation and the ISO the the smallest ISO that you can the, you can have 100 it's ideal okay so let's just start um, the equipment that I used it was a it was a studio I used the background, it was the, um, the background from Savage, the mocha color and then I used just one light, it was a Godox 200W with a Octabox uh, from 80 centimeters and, and that's it. So for this beauty retouch I'm going to use the Photoshop 2021 and I'm going to use my tablet Vacom Intuos small, the small version. As my, I'm going to edit it in my laptop, so my laptop is small, then my tablet is small. I do recommend, uh, I think it's actually necessary to do a beauty retouch with the tablet. So yeah, I recommend to have a tablet. Could be Vacom or could be another one. It's your decision. Um, okay, the first thing I'm going to duplicate the layer uh, with command G, I mean command J, or when I say command, uh, if you have a Windows computer, when I say my command is your control. The thing is like, I have a Mac, my command is your control. Okay, so I duplicated healing, this is the first thing. So for the healing, I use two tools. I use the patch tool and I use the spot healing brush. So what I'm going to do is remove all these little bumps and hairs and details. For example, here the detail in the nails. Um, and I'm going to do this uh, really quickly. Um, one of the things that I want to share now that I'm doing this, um, it's that the beauty retouch are slower. Like you take much more time than other editions. Um, because you need it to, well, as, at least I wanted to make it very natural but very perfect skin. So the skin treatment and the beauty retouch actually takes a lot of time. So from me, my retouch, I take around three to seven hours. So depends. 
one of the things that is really important to consider are the two elements that actually gives you kind of like saves you a lot of time and in this case are the model and the makeup artist so the skin of the model like for example this model has a really beautiful skin like I actually I already edit three photos of her and actually was really straightforward like the skin of her just have like really tiny 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 details like it's very very beautiful skin but sometimes other models don't have like that beautiful skin and then you need to do the treatment like it will take more time so that's the first thing and the second thing is like the makeup artist so also in this case the makeup artist was like flawless I well it has just a couple of flaws but it was really beautiful. I don't need to fix it. Sometimes uh, I need to fix a lot of the eyeshadows and I need to fix um, the base of the makeup. And yeah, sometimes it's super messy and I need to fix it because I needed to, to make the, the makeup artist look really pretty. And yeah, so that will save you a lot of time. So if you are in the shoot, I do recommend to see how is the makeup and select models that actually have a pretty skin and then and then I will say that will save you a lot of time then that's why I say that it will be like three to seven hours like it will be it will actually depend of the um, model and the makeup artist and of course your experience in doing this one sometimes you will be faster, you will have a better trained eye, and you will be faster in the retouching, but yeah, this takes time. So I'm gonna pause the video, I'm going to do that and in several steps, and then I will continue to do this, and then I will record it again and say the next step. So when I pause it, it means that I'm just doing this in a lot of places. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to show you is like I'm removing the um, the eyeshadow that it's a little bit here as you can see like the green spot so yeah I'm going to pause it and I will give you the next step one I have finished this okay the other thing that I'm going to do is to edit the eyes um, it's the same thing with the healing brush. I try to remove as more dark, um, redness as I can, but then I'm going to do a layer, you will see. So I create a new layer. Here's eyes white. And then I'm going to paint a little bit this. I will put it in the whitest zone. Okay, this is really dark. Let's put it here. Okay, and then it's really important hardness 0%, the size according with the eye, and the flow, let's say 4%. And then I'm starting to paint it. Okay, it's too slow, too low. Okay, I will do the same in here. Um, sometimes the model have really uh, the models can have a really nice eyes, like really white sound. Uh, this part of the eye is really white, but sometimes it needs help, like this one. She has really red eyes, and yeah, it needs a little bit more help to remove um, that sound to make it white so I put it back and then I see that it's super super white so I'm just going to remove a little bit the opacity I think with that is okay so you see it's super red and now it's white and then you can see it is very good okay 
So the next step in the healing part, I'm going to use this tool that is clone stamp just to remove a little bit these hairs that are kind of like distracted. Um, so yeah, I'm just, just going to duplicate this part of the photo that it's clean. That's the only thing that I, it does. Oh, the settings that I use in here, hardness 50% and then the size, flow 100%. The size will depend of the photo. like how it looks. I don't want it to look at fake. Okay. And then in here. Okay, I already took a lot of time. <laughs> I forgot that I was recording. I will finish in a bit. I won't stop the video. So after doing this, I'm going to pass. Going to start the part of actually doing the Dutch and burn. <laughs> Longer than expected, but we are almost there. Okay, that's it. So, the next thing is to put a new layer. We are going to put two layers. We are going to put curves and let's make it as bright as we can without losing details, all details. And then, same thing, but backwards, shadowing. Um, and then I invert the layer, it's Command E to embed, invert it. Um, this is Dutch and this is Birds. Okay, so first thing, I'm going to do an overall, um, I'm going to put it in a carpet. I'm going to do an overall edition of the Deutsche Bird and then I'm going to do the details. So for the overall it's just like following a contouring makeup. So I'm going to put this size and I'm going to put flow, I don't know, 4% for the overall. For the details I'm going to use it um, a small one. Um, so I'm going to do the nose, you know, and this part needs to be brighter. So I'm going to do the Dutch in there, in here, like in parts that I know that I need more light that parts that are darker like here that I don't want it to be darker here like super overall I will do the, the fine details later you will see I'm just going to do the overall and then the makeup, I'm going to increase the burning here, like the light, and here. 
and in the details of the blue. And then the eyes, but for the eyes I'm going to put a 25 or so. And then I'm going to make more light to the eyes. She has really, really, really pretty eyes. Okay. And then I'm going to do the burn. In the burn I always do the eyeshadows. I do, oh god, half the six and make four. And then I'm going to do this part of the eye to make it actually greener. I'm going to do the part of the nose. And a little bit the blush. Okay, and then I will do a bit the lips. Okay. So this is a before and after of the pre Dutch and Burns, before and after. You see quite a big difference in what's like just the, the fast part. Okay, so this lowest part is the following. I'm going to do Dutch in all the zones of the, of the areas of the face that I consider needs to be like brighter or um, darker. So for example, in these areas are kind of like not even. What I'm looking is to make the skin even in the parts. According, like in, not in here, in here is shadow, and perhaps these tiny things that are lighter, I wanted to make it um, darker. So according with the structure of the face, I want to make it brighter or darker. So that's the thing that I'm going to do. So I'm going to pause the video and then continue i will do more uh dutch and born after but i will show you the next steps so the next step sometimes i do it sometimes i don't do it um is to put a new layer black and white and then change this normal to luminosity um one of the things that i want to say before i continue with this one is that this is the technique that i um adapt to myself that is like the sum of many techniques and many videos and many courses and many tutorials that I took so I adapted according what like the results that I want to see so these steps that I'm doing you need to see what works for you and then create your own technique that's the the suggestion or the Kind of like the advice that I give you to you to create your own technique and also if like some steps you don't want to do it I, I sometimes I do this that it's um, make it more details in the photo but sometimes I don't it depends on the photo in this case I will do it to show you the entire technique that I have but yes, I hope you really, really like my technique. So I'm going to decrease the reds and the yellows. I'm going to see how much. But if you can see, when I decrease it, I have more details in the skin. So I'm going to put it like that. And then in the layer, I'm going to remove the uh, effect on the eyes completely. Um, because it kind of like dark, dark uh, like make it dark the eyes so yeah just going to remove it for the eyes but look look the effect of the picture I really like it love it so I'm going to do again new layer black and white I'm going to keep it normal but I'm going to decrease the opacity to 12% um, more or less just to decrease the orangey effect Okay, this is the luminosity mask. And then we are going to create the mask, like the, the highlights and shadow mask. 
So let's go to channels, press command, and then press the RGB. Remember, my command, you're using Windows, is your control. So once it's selected, go here, like go back to layers, and then put labels. And then you are going to increase a little bit the light of that. Then we go back to channels again, command, press RGB, and then press command and then shift and then press again RGB and then let's go back to labels again and do this brighter also we go back to channels command RGB and then command shift I to invert it and then levels again but we are going to decrease the color and then let's go back to channels again command rgb click command shift click and then i to invert it and levels and decrease it also a little bit okay so this is too heavy i'm going to put it in a in a folder i'm going to mask i'm going to put right mass and then I'm going to decrease it I'm going to decrease more the blacks and shadows are too intense let's keep it like that looks so pretty like this give you kind of like the 3d effect more like you see this is like plain picture well this is like super plain picture and then you give like kind of like texture to the skin and then you give more like kind of like effect i really love it and then finally duplicate the healing one we will put high pass and then filter order high pass Eight is okay, and then we put here overlay. And as you can see, you have a lot of details in the skin. Let's put, I don't know, 20%. I think it's okay. It depends on how much you want. But I think 20% looks stunning. So, okay, I'm going to show you the before and after. So this is not the, this is not the final, final one. I always do one version, one version first and then I'm doing second version. So this is the before and after. Look the difference, it is amazing. One of the things that I'm going to change also, okay. I'm going to put a mask in the luminosity folder and I'm going to remove it from the makeup so I don't have the effect of the decreasing the color from the makeup nor the eyes okay. okay perfect looks beautiful okay so I'm going to save it And okay, beauty shots point one. Okay, I'm going to save this one. There is a point one version, and then I'm going to save also the original point zero version, and then we will see the difference. Okay, now I have here version zero, that it's the original uh, version point one. And look, the edited one looks amazing. So I always do this, as you can see, I have the one, two, and three photos. Um, for example, this is the original one of the other one that I was talking about. Then this is the version one edit. So what I do later, it's okay, I close everything and then I go and do other things. So I kind of like, um, 
refresh myself in my eyes and then I come back and then I do the second edit that it's kind of like do more dodge and burn and for example this is the second edit of the version one see the difference first edit second edit second edit we have like more even skin so I will show you the other one this one is actually I have the tutorial in Spanish for this one and first edit second edit like I make the skin better and third Oh no, this is the tutorial <laughs> that I have it in Spanish. So original, edit, first version, second version, first version, second version. So I will do the same for this one. And then I will do the second version. We'll show you in a bit. Okay, I'm back and I already did the second version of the editing. So this is the first version before I uh, went to a break and this is the second version. First version, second version. Like it's tiny details but are important. Like in here you see I put more even the skin, in here and in the forehead. See. And in here a little bit. Was like here super like the highlight and then I remove it. And that's it this is the before after before and after so this is my beauty retouch technique if you see if you hear a, a weird noise is my dog <laughs> it's real he's always with me so i'm sorry if it is distracting <laughs> okay so this is my technique i hope you like it i hope it can help you help you to to do your retouch you if you have any questions or if you want me to do another video explaining i don't know any specific thing that you saw in this video or you have a special request please please comment below and i will try to do as soon as possible all the content that you already asked I will put content in Spanish and in English. So thank you very, very, very much for watching this video. I really hope that this video helped you to improve your retouching and that you can adapt uh, some of the techniques that I use for your own technique. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and activate the notifications so you know when I upload a new video. Thank you very much. Also, I, um, if you want, you can also follow me in my other social media. Instagram uh, is the one that I use the most. It's kimgarza.art. And I do a lot of TikToks for the art in Spanish, but there are a lot of photography tips. kimgarza.art also. Website kimgarza.com. kimgarza.com, sorry for the Spanish. <laughs> and the other social media I appear as Kim Garza or Kim Garza art or Kim Garza art so thank you very much I hope you see you here and the other social media and I hope you have a really 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 good day and see you in the next video bye